Hey guys, Chip here. So I, I got a freebie for you today. It's a, kind of an interesting set of geometry notes I've been working on. It. What it does is it, it's kind of a scatter geometry note. Let me show you how you use it. At first, you'll just go in and if you have Design Magic, you'll have it here. If you don't, just download it from the link I provide and drop it into a K-Pack. You'll be good. First, I just should add the insert. Once I've done that, I've got this geometry note over here. So let's just smooth this over here and add a modifier and do geometry notes. And the one we're going to add is this CW scatter. Once we've added that, we can go over here and say, I delete the insert because uh, we don't need anything else. Okay. Now we have this, we need to add a collection. So let's go here and I'm going to add this collection. This is just a bunch of people, something that we sell on Blender Market. So I'm going to add this insert, add it anywhere. There it is. Look at the layer. It's got this one plane. So I'm going to delete that. Now we have all these characters. I'm going to hide those, the all 2.1. We'll come in here and we'll say the density max, maybe 200 is fine. Let's just go ahead and add that all 2.1. And you see, whoa, we've got a bunch of people that are all over this thing. So let's just go ahead and set this to maybe 50. And let's make this 0.1. And now we have a bunch of people that you can see. And they're all standing perpendicular to the faces. So if I turn off the match normal, now they're all standing straight up, which is maybe what we want to do in this particular case. And I'm going to just leave it. Maybe let's, let's leave it at 100 for now. And we got a lot of guys, a lot of people there. Some of these people are standing right in, inside each other. Let's just use this little distance so that we can actually make sure they're not touching each other. We're not occupying the same space. So that's working. And then if we want to, we can scale them. We can have a 0.5 and 0.75. So we can have some bigger and some smaller, which really doesn't work for us. <laughs> let's make them all 0.5. There we go. And we can rotate them. So they're not standing in the right spot. So let's rotate them. Let's go from 45 degrees to 360 degrees. So now we have people rotating in different directions. I want to put them all on flat surfaces because as obviously standing on a slope like that's going to be pretty difficult. So let's just go ahead and use alt and angle. So we have an angle for the flatness. So we set the flatness to one, which means that we're not going to get anything. I'm going to just set these to zero. So you can see that once we set these to zero and we start moving that flatness down, you'll see that they're only going to stand on the most flat areas. And the more that we move it down, the more flat areas they're going to stand on. So you can kind of get an idea what that does. Now, if I put it back to one and I say the upper clip, so let's put the upper clip. You can see that this is the upper clip and the lower clip. So if I move the lower clip down, you'll see that that's going to, that's going to go all the way to the bottom. And if I move the upper clip, up, it's going to go all the way to the top. So if I just want people standing in the middle, I can just do that. And they're all going to be just gathered around the middle. So that's kind of good. Now this works obviously with trees and stuff like that. So I'll we'll turn this back off. Next, I'm just going to go into here and tab into this object. Let's just hide this for now. You can see that we have this mesh, right? And so I'm going to go under edit mode and say weight paint. And now I'm going to paint an area where I want people to congregate. So say I want to paint right here. Okay. Okay, and now I'll go back out of way, paint to the object mode. And if I look in that, in this object, I'll see you have this group. I can call it Fred, whatever we want to call it. It doesn't really matter. Let's go back into our modifier. And we're just going to type that same name in here, Fred. We'll turn this back on. And you'll see that where we painted is where those guys are going to show up. And if we use the alt in this, this will actually remove them that don't fit within the criteria that we've set for the alt and the angle. Let's and then the last thing I'll do is if you look, sometimes they're floating a little above and I can just grab that offset and just move it down a tad if I want to sink them into the ground a little bit. And that's really it. It's a pretty simple, straightforward geometry node. If you look at it, it's not actually all that complicated uh, and pretty well documented. So you can take a look at it if you need to see what's going on. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, so hope you enjoy it. Uh, download it. Uh, you can download it. My Patreon people will get it there and I'll put a link to it in the uh, video as well. Thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.